Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this particular video I'm recording late in the night and I just thought to make this video before starting any video uh, for your gate preparation because it's important to know about the exam. It's, more, it's important to understand that what kind of strategy you have to make for that particular exam, right? So that's why it's, I'm just making this video just a compilation of all of the things. Uh, it is not going to be a long video. I'll just talk about major things which you need to keep in mind before preparing for uh, for the gate exam okay so the next uh, target for most of you might be gate 2020 okay so that keeping that in mind i'm just going to tell you a few things so, so the first thing is that you should be very clear about uh, yourself that what you are going to do with this gate score okay uh, what you are what you want from the gate exam yeah, either you want to do a job or you want to join PhD in IITs or ISERs, okay? So these are only two things which you can do uh, major, like in the major uh, way uh, through this gate exam, okay? So let me be very clear about it that if you want to do a job through this gate score or through this gate exam, then your rank should be very good, okay? Your rank should be under 100, that is said to be very general. And keeping the other factors aside, your rank should be like, it should be less than 100 in any way, okay? And if you just want to do, like if you want to join for PhD um, and if you are okay with any of the IITs, then just qualifying this exam is well enough, okay? So, like, and if you want to join a good IIT, then your rank should be around 300, 400 or even like 700 to people also get a good IIT. Now that particular things are different and I'll talk about them later on. But for now, uh, this is something which you need to keep in mind, okay? Uh, so I'll talk about both the things. If you are thinking about this exam, from the CSR point of view, like because we all have prepared for that, right? So you might be thinking that what what is the level of this exam? So the level of the exam is actually this is not a, a topic specific exam, okay? It's just like your CSR net exam is in CSR net exam, what is uh, what is there that you should be very good at a particular thing? Like uh, let's say you are talking about physical chemistry, so you should be very good at physical chemistry because question are asked in very deep from there, okay? Is, uh, or beat organic or inorganic from everywhere. Questions are asked in very detail. In gate, you don't have that liberty, okay? In CSR, you have, you can just, uh, like, uh, you can just read two of them, either uh, physical inorganic or organic inorganic, and you will be, like, it's easy to qualify CSR net exam based on two of them. But that liberty you don't have in gate exam because you don't have optional uh, questions over here, right? So that makes this exam different from CSR net. In CSR net, you should have a very detailed knowledge of a subject Whereas in gate, you should have a general knowledge, like uh, it's not that specific, but yeah, you should have an overall knowledge of the subject. Okay. So overall knowledge of the subject is more important uh, when, when we talk about gate exam. Now, uh, talking about the three portions, organic, inorganic and physical, you might be aware about it that CSR net asks questions, especially from organic chemistry in very detail. Questions are not that easy over there. Those are very tricky. If I compare that portion with gate, so gate po uh, for gate exam, your organic portion is not that difficult. Okay, it's 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 approachable. If you are not that much good in organic chemistry, then also you will be able to solve questions. In organic portion for gate exam is very simple. Okay, it's very simple. If you have prepared for CSR net exam, you will find gate questions very very simple as compared to that. The only portion which makes difference is your physical chemistry. Okay. Now gate asks questions from physical chemistry in a very different way which you are not prepared of when you are preparing for CSI net exam because here questions are more of numerical based, your questions are more of graphical based, uh, your questions are more of your unit conversion based. So that uh, some, that is something which you are not prepared for, right? So you have prepared for CSI net but over there you don't care about those much numericals, you don't care about units that much, you don't solve much of uh, uh, like graphical questions. But here you have to do that for gate, okay? So that's the major difference between these two exams. Now, as you have only one month for your gate preparation, so my strategy or my suggestion for you how to prepare that is, uh, let's say if you, let's, you don't have to do much in inorganic portion, okay? So inorganic portion, whatever you have prepared for CSR net, you just have to revise that so that you don't forget anything. Uh, talking about your organic portion, you should have a thorough uh, knowledge of all the things. Let's say for CSR net, if you have excluded organic chemistry, I'll suggest you to include few of the topics like uh, pericyclic is very important over here. Uh, photochemistry questions are also asked generally. Okay. Uh, then you have questions, especially from your deal solder part, uh, like your cyclo addition and like that comes under pericyclic also. But deal solder uh, reaction is something which has been asked very frequently in gate exam. Uh, 
then in gate exam you have different kinds of stereo questions on stereo chemistry uh, where you have to talk about rs nomenclature of your different compounds especially biphenyls and spirenes kind of compound uh, then you have uh, stereo chemistry confirmation of your cyclohexane so these are something and then your uh, nmr the, uh, or uh, organic spectroscopy that is to that that too you have to do so these are some thing which you have already done i think for uh, for the csi net the thing which you have to include is some basic reagents okay uh, go for coupling reactions there are many coupling reactions over there just read about them some basic reagents are there like lindlar uh, lindlar reagent then birch reduction is there so some of these very known reagents just try to read them up okay so that in that way you will prepare your organic chemistry also the thing which you have to be very rigorous about is your physical chemistry okay so physical chemistry is something where you have to be very rigorous you have to prepare a lot about that okay uh, especially you have to change the way you are preparing for physical chemistry for csi net uh, you have to go for the more graphical questions be it uh, titration be it your uh, kinetics um, be it your uh, surface chemistry so there are many graphical questions or many graphs in all these uh, in all these topics right especially in your you know thermodynamics also let's say if you are preparing for carnot cycle so carnot cycle has very different kind of graphs a simple carnot cycle can be expressed in different ways it may be pv graph or it may be ts graph uh so you should be uh, like you should be good at reading those graphs you should be good at solving questions related to them okay so try to solve as many questions as possible from this portion secondly uh, you have to solve as many numericals as possible okay uh, especially uh, from your topics like your solid state uh, then then your solutions that is something which which is very generally asked in gate okay then your equilibrium most all the topics uh, in your in the in the physical chemistry you have to go for numericals as well okay and you don't have that liberty of options also over here because you have nat type of questions right so nat means numerical aptitude type question uh, numerical answer type question so over there you have to answer uh, in digits so you have to be very accurate over there okay so that you have to prepare okay that is something very uh, that is something which is different so prepare for your uh, like numerical questions prepare uh, graphical questions and you should be good at units okay Uh, how to convert different units like let's say if you want to convert joules into kilocalories you should be good at that you should know different values of gas constant in different units okay you should know that what is the value of gas constant when you take energy in calories you should know what is the value of that when you take energy in joules so that is something which you should be very good at and because many questions if you will see in gate exam uh, they can be solved easily but at the end you have to convert the unit because the answer is asked in a different unit okay so you have to convert everything to get a perfect answer so that is something which makes this exam different from csi net and these are some things uh, some important points or some important topics which you should prepare now i'll tell you that how if you if you just want to clear this gate exam if you just want to pass out this exam then you should attempt that uh, like you should prepare for 30 to 35 marks okay that that's where the cut off range is generally but if you want a good rank a rank under 100 your mark should be 60 70 plus okay between 60 to 70 marks so you should be and keeping all the like competition aside because uh, like lot of people are preparing for the exam and the competition is in like it's increasing uh, day by day right now it's a cutthroat competition so you should be prepared enough for that and uh, and if you want to score 60 plus marks you have to be good at all the three topics okay and you have to be very very good at physical chemistry because that is something which which makes all the difference okay because in organic everyone does in the same way organic also a person who knows good physical chemistry he can approach organic questions but generally it does not happen right organic chemists are mostly those people i am not generalizing but yeah i have seen this that most of the bio student bio background student those who have pcb or those who have studied bio biology in their uh, in their bachelors and masters not masters bachelors basically so they generally are good at organic and they are not good at physical chemistry so that is something which you have to work upon okay because you don't have any excuse now uh, you have to be good at physical chemistry if you want good rank in gate exam okay so these were some of the things i have talked about uh, like uh, what what is your gate and what are the importance of it i have i have already discussed what are the topics which you, which you need to be more focused on so if you ask me topic specifically so for physical chemistry i'll say whole physical chemistry is very important and i told told you already that which types of questions you have to practice okay now what you are going to get in this channel okay in the next few months uh, sorry not few months just in the next one month 
I am going to upload gate specific videos. I will try to upload as much uh, topics, especially from thermodynamics and quantum chemistry as much as possible. I will try to provide a gate 2019 solution as much as possible. And this is what my plan, plan is, right? So before uploading any video for gate, I just thought to give a thorough introduction to this gate exam just to tell you how to prepare about it. So I hope you found this video helpful guys. And if you have any question, any other specific question, you can ask me in the comment section below. And if you are new to this channel or if you have not subscribed to this channel because of any other reason, uh, I'll just request you to subscribe this channel. Stay connected. Whenever I'll upload a video, you'll get a notification after that. Okay. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.